Welcome to Blending with Henry. Hey you guys, how you doing? My name is Henry. You guys requested it and I am delivering. Something new, but something from the past. Last year, I reviewed the Blendtec Total Blender Designer Series. And since then, I got lots of emails from Blendtec fans asking me if I was gonna be doing any more Blendtec videos. Well, I thought that was a good idea. So, from this day forward, Blending with Henry will also be showcasing the Blendtec Blender. And today, I've got an all new model for you guys to take a look at. It's called the Blendtec Designer 725. It's beautiful, with all brush metal design, capacitive touchscreen. It even rewards you for blending something. So you gotta take a look at this. So if you guys are ready, come along with me. I got tons of recipes for you to take a look at, so let's get started. This Blendtec video review of the Blendtec Designer 725 was inspired by my Blendtec foodies out there. The patented jars. These jars are Blendtec's secret weapons. Here is the Blendtec Wild Side Plus jar. It's their largest jar and is perfect for family or party size recipes. Now this jar comes with the Blendtec Designer 725. Now, it's a square jar, but it has a fifth side called the Wild Side Plus for more efficient blending, and I'm going to show you guys how that works. It has easy to read black markings for measurements, and at the bottom it has metal gears to drive the blades that are sonically welded in. Now it has a vented gripper lid that allows steam to escape when making hot soup, and it's removable to drop more ingredients in during blending. Inside here is a uniquely blunt blade, which is very thick and it's dull, so it's easy to remove the ingredients. Now, although it's recommended not to touch the blades, especially while blending, okay? <laughs> so let's take a look at the Wild Side Plus feature. Now, it works like a washing machine, you guys, because the fifth side disturbs the flow by bumping the ingredients against the wall of the jar in a circular motion, forcing the ingredients to head straight towards the blades, and it's very efficient. This is the Blendtec four-sided jar. Now just like the Wild Side Plus jar, it's square in shape. Now it has easy to read black markings for measurements, it has metal gears at the bottom, and it has a vented gripper lid. It also has the uniquely blunt blade. Now because this container is smaller in size, it's ideal for making large drinks for one or more persons. Here is the Blendtec Twister Jar. Now it's the smallest of the bunch, but it brings a lot to the table. It has easy to read black markings for measurements, it's very well constructed, and it has metal gears at the bottom that connect to the blades which are sonically welded in. Now just like all Blendtec jars, you guys, it has the uniquely blunt blade which is safe to remove ingredients. This is the Spoonula. It's contoured to scrape out the ingredients easily. The main attraction about the twister jar are the twister blades. They fit down into the jar, and for nut butters or frozen desserts, you just turn the knob counterclockwise, and they scrape the walls down, and the ingredients fall to the blades. Also included with the twister jar is a vented gripper lid. Now, the top pops out so you can add ingredients or oils for dressings while blending. Now, it fits firmly in place. Now, imagine making your own turkey gravy with this, you guys. How epic is that? The Brains and the Beauty. Here is the star attraction, the Blendtec 725 Motor Base. It's known as the Blender with a Brain because it has six unique pre-programmed settings which are tailored for the type of recipe you're creating. Now the entire system out of the box comes with a full eight year warranty. It has a 3.8 peak horsepower motor and it's absolutely stunning in looks. It has a brushed metal covered body which is easy to lift due to the built in slots at the bottom. It has a very thick power cord which will withstand the wear and tear of your kitchen. Oops, don't spill anything. Okay. <laughs> I gotcha. Okay. 
<laughs> you guys think I messed up the machine, didn't you? Okay. <laughs> Not to worry, a simple wipe with a damp cloth and you're back in business because there's no switches or knobs for liquids to seep through. The control panel is all new and it's super easy to read with a bright display and it works differently from previous Blendtec machines. Now I swear you guys, this machine is human sometimes with the inspiring messages it throws at you. Now when you turn it on, it says something inspiring. Feel your day. <laughs> Now when you turn it off, it says something inspiring again. Choose health. Now it also keeps track of how many blends you've created. Now in the past, that wasn't necessarily a big deal, but with this model, it rewards you after a certain amount of blends. It gives you a redemption code to all sorts of cool accessories from blendtech.com forward slash rewards. The presets are where this machine shines. You get presets for smoothies, salsas, frozen treats, juicing, soups, and self-cleaning. Now each of these presets alternate in speeds, making sure your blend is done at its best. Now keep in mind you guys, presets work best with the proper amount of ingredients because they are preset to stop at a certain time as you can see the time counter running down. If you need more time on your preset, there is a new feature called Add 10. Now each time you press the smoothie button, it will add 10 seconds to your blend and it works the same way with every other preset. Now if you feel like being creative and test your culinary skills, there's also a manual speed slider that has 100 speeds. Now you can start off on any speed. Changing speeds is as simple as sliding your finger. You can also roll your finger back and forth for precise speeds. If you start having issues that interfere with your blending such as air pockets, the Smart Blend technology figures out the solution and tells you what speed to blend at or to add more liquid if needed. I also like how the blend tech times your blends with a time counter. Some recipes require a precise amount of blending time. The time counter helps so you'll stop the machine at the right time. The pulse button is very handy for breaking down large amounts of ingredients or for quick chopping. You tap the button and it tells you to touch and hold down the slider to pulse at any speed. Stir, chop, mix, blend, puree. At the top of the control panel shows you which speed to use based on the action. If you're creating a puree, set it to the highest speed. This machine is way too much fun, you guys. Your smartphone has nothing on this. And when you're done for the day with all this good stuff, just press the power button and it's all gone. Are you guys finally ready to make some good food? Well, so am I, so let's get started. To make that commercial quality smoothie, it truly takes the right recipe. So I'm going to show you. Now I'm using two cups of frozen fruit. Now rather than adding ice to fresh fruit which introduces water into your smoothie, it's best to use frozen fruit. Then I'm adding one and a half cups of almond milk. Now when you go to the smoothie shops, you guys, they're adding frozen yogurt or other types of milk. So once again, adding water will take away the flavor. Now I'm adding one tablespoon of agave nectar. You can add honey, but agave doesn't change the flavor of your drink. Now remember to use the right amount of liquid. If you use two cups of fruit, then add one and a half cups of liquid. I'm going to press the smoothie button and it will blend for 40 seconds. Oops, go.
Look at that, berries and tropical fruit. Ah, the perfect consistency, now, just like the smoothie shops. Now wouldn't you love to taste that, you guys? And there you go. During the holidays, making a chicken salad with fruits and nuts can be great for parties or for a personal meal, and it couldn't be easier, so here's the recipe. One medium-sized chicken breast, one whole green apple, seeds removed, one stalk of celery, two tablespoons of mayonnaise, one half a cup of non-fat yogurt, one quarter cup of red onion, one tablespoon of sweet hot mustard, one half a cup of candied walnuts, one half a cup of dried cranberries, and salt and pepper to taste. Woo! Okay, so we're going to be adding one medium-sized chicken breast. One whole green apple with the seeds removed. One stalk of celery. Two tablespoons of mayonnaise. A half a cup of non-fat yogurt. One quarter cup of red onion. One tablespoon of sweet hot mustard. One half a cup of candied walnuts. One half a cup of dried cranberries. You can just go ahead and add your own salt and pepper to taste. Secure the lid in place. And now I'm going to be looking for the pulse button, which is at the far right of the screen. I'm going to press it now, and then you choose which speed to pulse at. I'm going to vary the pulse speeds. Okay, it's all done, you guys. Simple as that. Now you can use the spoonula and spoon the chicken salad into a crusty sourdough bread bowl. Pack it up high for presentation. Garnish it with paprika and yummy! Almond butter and chocolate almond spreads are expensive in the supermarkets, but super easy to make in the Blendtec for far less money. In the twister jar, I'm using two cups of roasted almonds. I'm adding one teaspoon of coconut oil to make it smooth as butter. <laughs> I'm dropping in the twister blades. I'm going to use the touch slider and start on low and ramp it up to the highest speed and blend for 40 seconds. And there you go. 
Smooth as butter. <laughs> now making the chocolate almond spread is super easy. I'm going to drop in one quarter cup of chocolate chips. This time we just want to blend on low for a few seconds just to incorporate the chocolate. Just like you see that creamy chocolate on TV, this is the real thing you guys. Check it out. You want to refrigerate it for about an hour and it becomes thick, rich, spreadable and delicious. Here's the almond butter without the chocolate. Oh how I wish you guys were here to try this. Lucky me. <laughs> Now vegan whipped cream may sound weird, but I assure you guys it's better than dairy. Make sure to use full fat coconut cream, chill it for 48 hours and the liquid drain. I'm adding three tablespoons of powdered sugar to our coconut cream. Then two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Now this is optional, but I'm adding a tablespoon of gelatin to stabilize the whipped cream for presentation. I'm using the touch slider and ramping it up to the highest speed and blend for 12 to 14 seconds. It's sweet and delicious. Ready Whip and Cool Whip don't want you to see this. <laughs> a milkshake just isn't a milkshake, you guys, unless it's dripping down the glass. I'm going to show you my recipe for the best non-dairy vanilla cream milkshake from my recipe ebook entitled, I Can't Believe It's Not Milkshakes. I'm starting out with one cup of unsweetened coconut milk. One half frozen ripe banana. One half teaspoon of vanilla extract. One quarter cup of raw almonds. Eight pitted dates. Three tablespoons of agave nectar. One eighth of a teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg. And now I'm going to add to the mix that chocolate almond spread that we made earlier. I'm thinking a big heaping tablespoon or more. <laughs> I'm going to use the touch slider and start on low and ramp it up to the highest speed and blend for 40 seconds. This is a two-step process. It's important to break down the ingredients first, then add the ice. I'm using two cups of almond milk ice cubes. 
This will keep milk in the shake rather than adding water-based ice cubes, which will water down the drink. I'm using the touch slider again, and I'm going to ramp it up to the highest speed and blend it for 20 seconds. Get that! It's frosty, rich, and smooth like velvet. <laughs> I love it. Remember that vegan whipped cream that we made earlier? Well, I spooned it into a piping bag. Now I'm just going to top off this delicious non-dairy vanilla cream milkshake. And once again, a milkshake just isn't a milkshake unless it's dripping down the glass. Cashew cream is the most versatile dairy alternative. It's perfect for soups, dips, and desserts, and here's how to make it. I'm using one cup of soaked raw cashews. Then I'm adding filtered water. Now it's important to add just enough water to barely cover the top of the cashews. I'm using the vented gripper lid on the twister jar. Then I'm ramping the touch slider to the highest speed and blend for 40 seconds. This is just cashews and water. What a shocker, right you guys? Incredible. Nothing is more blanket comforting than a good movie and a bowl of piping hot green pea soup. And here's the recipe. Two cups of frozen peas, one cup of carrots, two socks of celery, four medium red potatoes boiled, one half of a medium red onion, one cup of uncooked bacon, ham, or salt pork, four cloves of garlic, one bay leaf, and three cups of low sodium broth. Did it again. <laughs> First, you want to saute your veggies along with bacon, ham, or salt pork to add flavor. After adding the peas and removing most of the pork, I'm pouring 75% of my soup mixture into the Wild Side Plus jar. Then I'm adding 3 cups of low sodium broth. Then pouring in some extra virgin olive oil. Securing the lid in place. Now I'm going to be using the soup setting which blends the soup mixture for 90 seconds. And you guys gotta watch this bad boy go.
We're almost done. I'm removing the lid plug and now adding the remainder of the soup mixture to add texture. I'm going to pulse a few times until I get the desired texture. Oops, I forgot to hit the pulse. <laughs> Yummy! Now look at that, you guys! Chunky veggies and peas in this steamy, hot, beautiful, creamy green pea soup. Remember that cashew cream we made earlier? Now watch this. Not everybody has to go to culinary school, you guys, to do this. <laughs> you just need the right kitchen tool, like a blend tech. Now just garnish with some cracked black pepper and some extra virgin olive oil. And there you go. You guys, it is ridiculously easy to make a fruit puree in your blend tech, and I'll bet you've got the ingredients in your freezer right now. With the twister jar, I'm using one cup of frozen strawberries. I'm adding three tablespoons of agave nectar. Then one half cup of filtered water. Securing the lid in place, now I'm going to use the touch slider and ramp it up to the highest speed and blend for 40 seconds. Now this is what natural strawberry color looks like, but for presentation you may want to add some red food coloring. Removing the lid plug, just squeeze multiple drops through the lid. Just add the amount that you like. There's no science to this. Get the best color for your blend. Just use low speed on the touch lighter and mix for about 15 seconds. Now you have a low cost, deep color strawberry puree. Last year, when I reviewed the Blendtec Total Blender Designer Series, I had trouble getting it to make ice cream using all frozen ingredients. This is where the twister jar really shines. For this eggnog flavored ice cream, I'm using one to two large frozen bananas and one cup of almond milk ice cubes. One fourth teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. About one to two tablespoons of agave nectar. I'm dropping in the twister blades and I'm going to use the frozen treat setting which blends for 45 seconds in alternating speeds.
Using all frozen ingredients ensures you'll have the most frozen ready to eat ice cream. Now talking about ice cream, I didn't forget the dessert you guys. <laughs> I'm about to build this non-dairy banana split with the ingredients we made earlier, so let's get started. Remember the strawberry puree we made earlier? Now check out my style. <laughs> Here's our non-dairy eggnog ice cream we made earlier. I had it in the freezer for several hours. Just going to put three scoops into my banana boat. Then of course the main attraction, one large banana split in half. Okay, okay you guys, I didn't make the chocolate syrup, okay? <laughs> Sometimes store bought is easier, so sue me, okay? <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to add the vegan whipped cream we made earlier and garnish the banana split. Now I'm going to add more of our strawberry puree. Now I'm going to be adding some maraschino cherries. Now I swear at you guys, I didn't attend culinary school, okay? <laughs> I certainly hope you guys had fun hanging out with me and learning about the Blendtec Designer 725. It is definitely different than most other blenders on the market. Below in the comments, I have a link to my full review of this machine of its perfections and imperfections. It will be located in the blog section of my website. Feel free to share your comments. Okay you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me and I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I did making it. Now if you like this video, please press the like button and please subscribe to future video updates. Now you can purchase a Blendtec or a Vitamix through me, save money and get some special perks. Now contact me for more details. Please remember to visit me at www.blendingwithhenry.com. Now Blending with Henry is also on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Instagram. And I will see you all next time.